Will, uh, you sat all night last night in Kansas City, didn't hear your name, uh, the Titans coming up to get you. Does that maybe help ease the uh, the sting of that incredibly long wait last night? Yeah, I mean, last night was tough, but I mean, I just, you know, stayed positive and I knew that what was meant to be was was going to happen. And then when I saw that they traded up for me, I mean, that that alone was telling that, you know, they wanted me, you know, they, they wanted this to happen. So, I mean, just really, really excited and thankful for the opportunity. Well, what was the conversation like, Will, once you got the call? It was great. I mean, I uh, I heard from, I mean, Mr. Carthon and, uh, and Coach, and um, it was, I, I knew I was going to cry, and, I, and the, the tears came immediately, and um, I, I didn't didn't really know how the, the conversation was going to go. It's one of those things where you, you feel like it, you're going to handle yourself and, and be composed, but um, the, the water work started flowing, and um, just emotions kind of overwhelm me. What was it was that you had a really good meeting with them. Uh, can you take us back? Did you feel like it was and, and what made it so? It definitely was. It definitely was. Um, I felt like, I mean, every, every single um, visit that I went on, I made sure that I put my best foot forward and I, uh, you know, did the best that I could to show them just who I was as a, as a person and as a player. And um, I feel like literally every single person that I met with on their staff, top to bottom, I connected with on a on a really high level, and I, I told myself I I wouldn't fall in love with anybody throughout this process because I knew I didn't really have a say in the matter. But I mean, if there was one team I did, it was definitely Tennessee. You were one of the guys projected to go in the first round. You obviously didn't. Like, how much does that put a chip on your shoulder, and how are you able to use that for motivation? I mean, no, I mean, it's I think regardless of where I got picked, I feel like it's not going to change my work ethic, regardless if I went, you know, first overall or 33rd. Um, you can't kind of let the circumstances dictate your preparation and uh, the uh, the level of intensity you bring to to your everyday uh, practice. So, I mean, um, definitely, I mean, a little bit of a chip, but I uh, just know that, you know, I was going to work hard regardless of where I got picked. I think you said even the day before the draft, your attitude would be the same whether you went first overall or in the second round, and you end up going in the second round. I mean, how much, how much does that shape your mindset moving forward and following through with that? I mean, like I said, not not much. I, I mean, I, I can't let the, the circumstances dictate my work ethic. You know, your work ethic's your work ethic, and um, it, uh, an extra little motivation doesn't help. But I mean, I ended up where I where I was meant to be. And I'm just looking forward to, you know, competing and getting started. Will, how, like is it, like Will, how is though? your health, uh, how, how is the toe in particular, and how much did that impact this past season for you? It, was, it feels great. It feels good. I mean, it was, it was tough. It was, it, was a, it was a pain in the butt or pain, pain in the foot. But, I mean, the, the second half of the season, it, that definitely affected my play style, my athleticism, my feet is something that um, I feel like is one of the, my strengths in my game. And to, to not have that was, you know, um, it sucks, but I mean, that's the nature of this game. This is a game where um, most of the people aren't playing at 100% week in and week out. And I think I learned a lot from that. I think I learned just mentally and physically just how to persevere through um, through difficulties. And it, it helped me for, for my future, I believe. Do you need when any you follow up sentence? procedures on that? Sorry? Do you need any kind of follow up procedures on that? No, I mean, from what I've heard, I've talked to some of the best foot doctors in the country and everyone that have looked at it. They've said that it looks good, and the progress that I made since that it happened uh, has been great. I, mean, I think really probably since <clears throat> late January, early February, I've been felt, feeling 100%. So looking forward to getting back and being able to play kind of at full force. What did you feel, Will, that, that they liked a lot about you and, and maybe vice versa too? What do you like about you know the organization and, and coach and so forth? I think they just liked uh, my mentality. I think they, they, they think that I'm a guy that – and they know that I'm a guy that's going to go in and, and compete and just uh, work my ass off. And um, I got what it takes to to be play quarterback at the next level. I think I have the, the mental capacity to understand and, and execute a game plan at a high level. And um, I'm just looking forward to to learning from from Ryan, from Malik, from from all the coaches, um, and to just better myself uh, throughout this whole process. And um, I, I just really liked, you know, how they believed in me. One, and then two, just their mentality with how they, um, I guess, try to get the right guys on the team and get the right people in the right positions in the in the program, right, um, in the franchise to create a, a culture that Coach Rabel's been been working on this 
throughout his uh, entire career. So, I mean, I think I fit into that culture really, really well. And that's why uh, they like me, I think. You mentioned, Ryan, you mentioned guys that you, you uh, were in the draft class with Stroud and Richardson are going to be right here in the division. You looking forward to uh, competing against them uh, over the next few years and kind of seeing where it goes? For sure. I mean, those those are my guys. I mean, I I I, I, want, I wish them the best, and I was extremely happy to see them go where they did. And I mean, as long as they're not playing me, I wish them the best, you know, um, but definitely is going to be cool to have a lot of young quarterbacks in that division and kind of see how it, uh, see how it pans out um, in the near future. You mentioned Ryan and Malik, how, how familiar are you with those guys? And you've only been with the team for 30 minutes, but what's, what's kind of the thought process as you enter a competition uh, to try to get on the field as fast as you can? Hey, I just want to learn from them. They, they've been in the NFL um, a lot longer than I have, even though Malik's only been a year. So they already have a lot more experience and are going to be able to teach me a lot of things. And I mean, I just want to be a great teammate to them and a great teammate to everybody else in the team uh, while competing at the same time and just um, feeling that out and just making sure I can do whatever I can to help the team win. How would you describe the differences between, you know, 2021, <clears throat> excuse me, and 2022 for you, Will, and, and the <clears throat> variables that, that went into that, you think? A lot. I mean, I think we touched on uh, the injury that I sustained, and that was only kind of one of a couple that I had, had dealt with. But um, like I said, I feel like that just overall made me a, a better player at the in the long run. But uh, I mean, we had a, I mean, new personnel, like new coaches. There's just um, not a lot of carryover. So I mean, that's always tough. But so, I mean, we we should have been a better team than we were. But I feel like throughout all the adversity that we faced. I was able to just improve and, and learn from it. How do you feel about your accuracy and your decision making at this stage coming in? Confident in it. Confident in it. I, I definitely have room to improve, but um, accuracy and decision making, I feel like are a couple of my strengths. And um, especially at this next level, I know that they have to be taken to the, the, the next level if I want to be successful. So again, just looking forward to, to learning from um, you know the staff and, and the other players to just develop me to be the best quarterback that I can be. I mean, where did you end up watching the draft tonight, Will, and, and maybe what went into that after after all the, the pomp and circumstance last night? What was tonight like? It was, it was crazy. Uh, we had a we had a big family gathering planned um, tomorrow morning. Like, obviously, like, um, was thinking there was a good shot that I would go yesterday. So the only really the only reason I didn't stay is because I couldn't get back home in time if I were to have left tomorrow. Um, so ended up coming back today. The flight was supposed to be at nine. It didn't have, get it up taken off until about 12, um, traffic on the way home from Newark. I live in Connecticut. I literally walked through the door as my name got called and, um, all, all my bags, all of our, all of our luggage, I don't know, I'll, I'll, there'll probably be some videos at some point that my parents took of me when I got the call, um, when I, you know, I was a crying mess, but it, it was so funny. Um, we're, we're all in our airport clothes and very different, um, atmosphere compared to you know everyone getting dressed up with the with the nice suits and dresses last night but I mean this is what was meant to be and I was ecstatic to get the call oh just you and your mom and dad was it no I mean we had, we had uh, some extended family here as well so we have we, we're gonna have a, like a nice family gathering tomorrow morning so some of them got here this afternoon um so they were able to they were waiting at the at the house for me but it was so funny I was so I was starving I got home put the bags down went to get some food and as I was stuffing my face I got the call and um it just all happened. Bang, bang, bang. It was pretty funny. What, what was the eruption like in the house when that happened? <laughs> it was, it was insane. It was, tears were flowing. Emotions were high and um, just a lot of excitement. Do you think there are any uh, similarities, um, Will, in, in the system you ran there at Kentucky and what you might be seeing with the, with the Titans? Yeah. Yeah. I think, I mean, that's another thing that I think that they saw in me that they, they believe it's going to help me at this next level. Um, when we're, when we were going through, you know, their formations, their concepts, their protection rules. It's a lot, it's a lot of carryover and a lot of uh, similarities as to, you know, what I've been exposed to these last couple of years. So I feel like my experience there is going to help me going forward. Yeah, well, well, said, how, much has, how much has uh, Coach, Coach Cohen as well as Coach Scandrello, like playing in pro style offenses, how much do you feel that prepares you to be able to take the next step quickly? I think it helped me a lot. I think it helped me a lot. It just, it, I, I have the reps of, of, I guess what's going to be expected of me at the next level um, already. I think that it's going to be, you know, going to take that next step. There might be a little bit more, um, you know, intricacies involved um, with the uh, with the NFL offense. But 
I do believe that that's one of the strengths I have uh, going so into this process. OCs, but did the system essentially carry over from 21 to 22? It was a little different. Um, I mean, we, we changed up some different things. We majored in different things um, in terms of like kind of what, what run concepts that we um, or run, run schemes that we um, succeeded with more. Uh, we, we went from kind of like a term-based system to a number-based system in the run game and in the, you know, the protection game. Our protection rules changed a little a little bit. We tried to keep some of the concepts as similar as possible, but some did change. But I'd have to say it was about 50-50, um, but different, but the same at the same time. You spent, spent much time in Nashville. You, you know many people here or know anything about the team? Um, yeah, only been a couple times. I mean, being in Lexington only a few hours away, I was actually surprised that I didn't make any more uh, weekend trips that I did. I, I never really had. Um, <clears throat> but I mean, we were there for the bowl game. And uh, I mean, my family was there um for new year's eve this past year it was funny actually um we were all in our airport clothes as i mentioned uh mentioned today my sister as we came through the door as i got the call was realized she was wearing her jason aldean's bar shirt um as i got that call from that nashville on uh, number so felt like it was meant to be you know What's the plan now? I mean, would you, you did they tell you to come here? Uh, I guess for the rookie camp coming up, or you got a, a trip here before that? Yeah, I won't be there until uh, rookie mini camp. So just looking forward to getting started then. Well, now that this whole process is played out for you, what how do you sum up all this? What what has the last few months been like for you? And and right down to last night, and now having this happen. It's a test. I mean, it, it tests your. I mean, physical, obviously. Uh, capacity, you know, leading up to the combine and your pro day and just being in, you know, tip top shape for those things. Um, but mentally more so, you know, with all the meetings, the top 30 visits, the the combine visits, obviously, and um, a lot of uncertainty, as we saw yesterday. I mean, I didn't know how yesterday was going to go. Obviously, um, I thought that it was going to go a little different, but hey, I'm going to, I mean, attack this, this opportunity um, with the utmost intensity that I have. And uh, just take advantage of it, of what's such a great um such a great opportunity. And what was it like? I mean, you got so much airtime on television. Your parents were there. Your sister's girlfriend. Uh, what what were they telling you through that whole process? And maybe what have you told them after this has all been finalized? Now, just stay positive. It's all going to work out. Stay positive. I, I was very I was very proud of my family and how we composed ourselves um, last night. And, um, you know, the cameras beam, beaming down on us uh, the whole time, I felt like we did a great job of, um, you know, just taking it in stride and, and trusting that regardless of what happens, um, that it was going to happen for a reason and um, that it was all going to work out. Is there anybody that is remote that has any questions for Will? Kayla, go ahead. Hey, well, welcome to Nashville, first and foremost. Um, for you, connections just with any of the Titans, do you have any connections just from college with any of these guys? Do you know any of these guys just from the game? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, you guys just signed um, Justin Rigg, my tight end from, from last year at Kentucky. Um, and it's funny that his first day in the building was my top 30 visit. So he was in there working out and he was excited to get in, getting started with the team. And uh I was tech, I was texting him leading up to this whole kind of process coming to coming to an end. And I was like, I feel like there's a good chance that, that we'll be teammates again. And uh, I know he's excited. I'm looking forward to reaching out to him and talking to him. Um, top of my head, there might be a couple more guys, but um, I'm not thinking of anyone right so now. So for you, and you said, you know, you didn't know what to expect out of the first round, but, you know, I'm sure that there were thoughts that, you know, possibly – another AFC South team could take you like the Colts, let's say. I mean, now that you're with the Titans, you're in this AFC, you know, South division that could have all brand new starting quarterbacks at one point. Does that kind of continue that? I don't want to say chip on your shoulder, but just now the will to want to be a winner even more with the Titans against some of these teams that maybe passed you over. Yeah, I mean, I want to win against everybody, regardless of who the opponent is. But I mean, uh, it's cool. It's a really cool dynamic if you think about it with all – um, the young quarterbacks. I'm just going to wait to to earn the opportunity um, and just you know put my head down and work. Um, I mean, I know I'm not. I'm starting going in there as last on the depth chart, and I got to earn every rep that I can get. Um, so I'm not even thinking about starting right away. I'm just thinking about the process and and working hard to um, every day trying to earn that opportunity. 
you uh before I let you go we set the record straight on the mayonnaise do you put it in your coffee or uh, or no no i mean it was a stupid thing uh stupid thing i did that i, I you know i thought was funny don't actually do it um i'm a one cream one sugar type of guy are you a banana peel eater no again just a you know another little thing that a uh, little stupid thing but i mean um i'm a football player and just i mean looking forward to just focusing on ball here on out